Okay, Assalamualaikum and a very good day. So this is uh, this video is uh, we will talk about uh, one. Uh, we will discuss about uh, one uh, example that uh, I can consider as a CNN tutorial eh, okay, for this uh, for, for a tutorial for CNN. So okay, as you can see here, this is the the problems that I I show in the slides there. Your employer has built a CNN model called Amenet which is used to classify between cat and dog given a image of dog or cat so this is the amenet uh, architectures okay of course uh, i just put it my names there uh, of course uh, this is not if you google you, you will not find this net in 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 online this is just a simple example so that you you know actually how actually we can you know uh, given the, the the architecture and then how to design see the code and uh, and how to 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 understand the problems there so again as you can see in this uh, in this architectures there uh, like i said before this format is only for this class or this course so uh, again like i said there's no standard uh, representation there's no uh, represent uh, there's no standard architectures format I means that you can draw you can do it in 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 form of a drawing you can you can also do it in text but in this class we use the same we use the standard format like this uh, where actually this is only for this this uh, this courses because we don't have uh, recently we don't have any standard to represent the architecture so as you can see we have uh, one up until it so that is represent the layers so we have input image there with the size five times five times one of course uh if five times five times one that's mean is what type of image is this one is it a color image of course no because the depth size is equal to one if there's the color image the depth size is equal to three so uh, when you multiply with one it can be binary or it can be grayscale image and then um, okay that, that this is a kind of question that we can you know you need you need to you need to I need you need to familiar with it because uh, you you must understand the architecture and then that that kind of question that can be can be asked okay for examples uh, this kind of CNN is can be considered as a binary classifier can you justify why that is why why that is because of one you can you can you can see in the question there because it, it the purpose of this CNN is to classify between cat and dog so that's mean the out the, the the classes there you have two it can be dog it can be a cat so it's a binary classifier so another uh, things that you can identify is the at the last layers there where this this is the layers number eight there which is the output layers so if the the output layers consists of softmax layer of course uh, our CNN should end up with softmax layer and the number of neuron is there is equal to two meaning that you have a two classes uh, classification or classifiers so meaning that if you have a two classes classifier you can consider that classifier as a binary classifier okay so the question is from this architecture can you uh, write the MATLAB code okay can you write the MATLAB code that can represent these architectures so uh, if you want to do that then you must go to uh, this code okay when I when, when the question asks about can you write the the MATLAB architecture and uh, the MATLAB code that represent the architecture you don't have to write the whole uh, code to represent that one okay the one that we want is only this part okay the architectures so let me just copy this one and then we try to create uh, new m file just to make sure that uh, they okay just to make sure that we can uh, compare how to convert this architectures into this uh, code okay of course this this one is not that good okay so as you can see that 
again uh, why I put a space there is because to represent each and every layer we have in this okay in this architecture for example here we have one two three four five six seven seven layer while this architecture we have we have eight layers so how to convert uh, this one into this one how to given this architecture can you write a program that represent this architectures so again the first layer should be the input layers so in in matlab you should you you should not uh, you, you you should use this uh, function where it's a is a input uh, layer function where the input is image in image format so that's why they call it image input layers and then the size you change it into into the one that uh, we want in this as as in this question there so you put 5 times 5 times 1 and then next we have a convolution so convolutions there of course this this example is not a good CNN because as you can see there the numbers of filter involved in layer number one is only one okay of course uh, in in reality cnn should not have only one uh, one filter it should, it should be more than one filter but this one uh, is to make you to make to make you uh, understand the the fundamental so so that's why we, we simplify the architectures of course it's not a good cnn there so to 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 convert this one okay to to design this layer second layer then you need to call a conventional two dimensional layer and then this one is the size okay again this is the size so size is three times three so you put three and then you have the number of filter is equal to one so this one will become one okay and then uh, strike equal to one so by default of course this uh, function is uh, consists of strike equal to one so do you don't have to change anything so uh, and then how about the padding so if there's a paddings there or in other words let's say I put when, when I said paddings mean is padding is equal to sims okay it's the same things there forget to 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 uh, to change this one okay doesn't matter if I put paddings meaning the padding is equal to same okay so so padding equal to same so that's 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 uh, similar to this one so you don't have to change anymore and then after that to represent this second layer you don't uh, you, you, you don't just need this function or this layer you also need this one and this one okay means that this the second layer should have this three uh, three combi this this three combination operation means that every time you are using convolution you should uh, apply the batch normalization layer that like, like I said like what we have discussed before in in the previous class and then of course you must end up with this activation function that uh, which is the ReLU layer so uh, like we did have discussed in the previous class every time you apply the convolution uh, the convolution layer itself represent by two function one is a convolutional operation which is this one and another one is activation function okay the one did we add that the one that we add additionally is this one which is the normalization which is to avoid um, the to avoid uh, in balance in, in 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 each and every features or in each and every uh, uh, feature dimension that that because each and every feature dimension have different scaling f so that we, we want to remove the scaling uh, r different scaling factor we want to have a normalized value so that's why we put a batch normalization layers there so that is the purpose of batch normalization layer so meaning that the layer number two here is represented by these three lines there okay so then so how about the the third layer so the third layer is convolutional operation so meaning that you need to have this three so I just copy so this is the your third uh, layers there so the size there is same two and one so how about the paddings there since you don't have uh, since there's no paddings there then you can put um, I think none I think none there let me check first okay I think that uh, if you try to install the, the latest MATLAB uh, MATLAB 
uh, MATLAB 2020 they have some effort to remove this parameter in, in this function of course uh, one of the toolbox which is uh, have a rapid progress in MATLAB is uh, this toolbox which is a deep learning toolbox so that's why you can see that for each version they come out when they release the, the new version they always change a little bit on the format but but uh, of course uh, that will make us uh, very difficult for us to you know uh, to, to trace the, 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 the latest function uh, that represent the architecture but never mind uh, in in our course we you just use this format meaning that if you for example you want to set the convolution without padding then you just can delete this one meaning that is it is something like this okay so so by default if you don't touch the padding parameter so there's no padding involved in this convolution so you just can write something like this okay to represent the layers number three so of course again you need to include as well as batch normalization and the ReLU layers there again after that the layer number four involved with a pooling layer so pooling layer you just use a single line there maximum pooling to 2d layers and then what is the spec we have a two time two filter so this is the size two time two and the size strike there equal to one so if the strike equal to one so you just put the strike equal to one and then again if you don't involve you if you don't set the paddings there then by default uh, no padding involved in these layers so if if there's a paddings there then you need to include as well as paddings there means that you must put you know uh, something like this padding okay and so on so so but because in in this architecture we don't have any padding so that's why uh, we don't set the paddings there because by default if you don't set the padding is it there's no padding in that layers and then what is happen at the layer number five so layer number five we again we have a convolution so that's why we need these three layers back so i just copy this one so this is one becomes layers number five it's a convolutional layer and then you have uh, uh, filter size is two times two so you put two there so number of filter is 10 and then uh, so you have strike there so that's why you need to include the strike oh you don't have to include the strike because um, because like I said before convolutional layer if you don't if your strike equal to 1 then by default without setting the strike it will automatically set the strike equal to 1 so so because of no padding so you also don't have to set the padding because by default if you don't set the padding then there's no padding in, in this function so only leave uh, like this okay and then again you need to include the batch normalization as well as relu okay finish uh, layer number five how about layer number six layer number six is a fully connected layer okay i just delete this one because this one is the the, the old one the, 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 the layer of the previous code there ok this one is as well so the layer number 1 layer number 2 layer number 3 layer number 4 layer number 5 so layer number 6 is fully connected layer so fully connected layers you just copy this one that will represent uh, the fully connected layers uh, or layer number 6 there fully connected layer where the new number of neuron is equal to 20 so I set it into 20 and then layer number 7 you have another fully connected layers where the new number of neuron is 10 and then the last layer which is our uh, softmax of 2 neuron ok for this one then uh, like I said before normally for the output layers you should have this three line okay it's it's a combination of fully connected layers softmax before classification layers but because uh, here layers number eight you because the neuron is equal to two number of neuron equal to two then the fully connected layer of the last layer must equal to two okay as you can see that is the difference there okay, you can see that is different there meaning that 
uh, this fully connected layer is uh, one layers this fully connected layers is another layers but layer number 8 even there's no fully connected layer mentioned in layer number 8 but automatically because you are you want to have a soft math max layers that consists of two classes then you need to have a fully connected layer where the output is equal to two okay so the question is that uh, you might uh, ask that uh, in this fully fully connected layer is like your 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 typical a and n means that the operation is a metric multiplication so if the the the, the, the operation is mat matrix multiplication like our a and n so what is the activation function of this layer okay because if we talk about the convolution layer you have a relu layers which is uh, become which will create a relu activation function for this convolution layers but how about this one and this one okay for this one and this one there's no activation function or in other word when we said there's no activation function it's like uh, you put identity transformation function what is the meaning by the identity transformation function i'm sorry identity activation function or linear activation function meaning that the output that produced by this multi matrix multiplication is directly going towards the output here meaning the 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 net is equal to o okay because your your net is equal to o uh, because you are putting the identity activation function meaning the input value is similar to the output value so your net is equal to your o so that is what happened here and here but not here because this one the active what is the activation function of this one of course it's a softmax activation function so make sure that you 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 don't get confused with that okay so now we already uh, we already create layers a uh, matlab code that represent this architecture so that's how we write the code okay but of course we cannot run this code because this is just a architecture or the, the your 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 cnn layers you already designed but of course you need to transfer into this kind of i'm sorry this kind of code before you can implement it meaning you meaning that you need to have a data set and then you of course, of course you already designed this architecture then you have to to set the training option and so on but of course because this is just a tutorial of course this no, this one is not good at all because again like i said we it's very very you know it's, it's very rare to have uh, only one filter for each layer because that is not the purpose of cnn because they say for cnn the more filter you have it will be it will create better things there so yeah so one one uh, number of filter is not enough to design a cnn okay how about we talk about another problem we still using the same uh, problems there the, the same uh, question there the same architectures there okay now let given this is the input image okay again our input image is 5 times 5 times 1 so it's a gray scale so it has something like this 5 times 5 and then the depth size equal to 1 so we don't have uh, we only have one values there we don't have uh, we don't have more value on that direction so given the input image is this one of course i i don't have, i don't put numbers there i put just x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 up up until x25 there okay um, of course you can just assume that there's a numbers there and then given uh, given the filter which is according to this one which is y1 up until y9 is there so this filter is at this uh, layers number two okay so uh, assume this filter is the one of the this is the filter that happened at layer number two so can you compute the output of uh, the output feature maps after you execute layer number two given the input is this one and the filter that involve at uh, second layer is this one so how do you do that 
okay of course uh, you just simply using the convolutional operations there and again you must uh, you must uh, take note there because our padding is same meaning that actually you are extended because the filter is equal to 3 times 3 you you just extended one pixel size one pixels borders there okay you add that you add up one pixel border where each and every values here equal to zeros okay so the purpose of this one just to make sure that uh, when you do apply the convolution and convolutional operation you will get the output which is the same size as the input matrix so it should be 5 times 5 over here so it should be 5 times 5 over here so how to compute uh, I just show you one example eh? um, I think it's, it should be here lah. it should be here Okay, how to compute this point so this point is at this point there so meaning that um, let me change the colors there okay so this one is the corresponding point of this point so meaning that you must put the filters there okay at this area so this one beca all become zero 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 so to compute let's say i put this one as a z z1 so z1 is equal to zero time y1 plus zero time y2 plus zero time y3 okay and then plus of course uh, this one zero this one zero this one zero and then this one is also, cause also zero zero y4 plus zero y7 okay because this one this um, this one this one and this one this one this one this one this one and this one is zero so because where we, this one is overlap with this zero value so and then plus x1 uh, y5 plus x2 y6 plus um, x6 y7 plus x7 y9 ok x1 y5 x2 y6 and then x6 y8 sorry this one is y8 ok ok because y7 is already here so that is how you do the convolution so once you get the z1 and then you slide the windows slide the filters then you get z2 and then you get z3 up until z25 so that is how you compute if we if the question asks about how to find the output the output feature maps after executing the layer number two just just remember that again this is just a convolution okay we can consider this one as our net okay it's not our o so to find the matrix o because we, the question as a feature output feature maps that is mean when we, we talk about output feature maps it's mean the matrix O is not a matrix net. Net is not a net matrix. It's a O matrix. So again, O is equal to your uh, by default because we always use ReLU. So you must ReLU with your net. And again, if you talk about ReLU, the activation function is look like this. Okay. So anything which is anything negative will become zero. Anything positive will become will will copy the value of the input value so meaning that if you find this matrix equal to negative is your z there eh, is equal to negative then you 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 change it into zero okay you change it into zero but if you find out your uh, and and the rest you just re remain the value because of you are using the ReLU activation function so ReLU activation function is always copy the input value uh, except if the value is input value is negative then you must change it into zero okay okay so but but let's say 
the second layer we 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 assume there's no padding so if this the the second layers do not have any padding then you need you don't need to uh, enlarge the size of the input like this okay you just execute normally it means that if you have 5 times 5 you execute with 3 times 3 then it will become uh, what here it will become it will become 3 times here at the output side okay because uh, because uh, you are don't because you don't involve any padding now the output will shrink from 5 times 5 to 3 times 3 if there's no padding involved in in the same layer or the second layers here okay in this in this case is second layer lah. it's a second layers okay that is the difference and uh, the rest let's say about uh, yep you also need to familiar also with the how to calculate the pooling okay the pooling also is simple because you just choosing the 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 maximum value among two time two matrix because because this here involve two time two filter so so the strike equal to one no padding so so you also need to familiar with that okay just 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 uh, check back uh, how the example how to compute the maximum operation and um, what else yep you also need to familiar with the how to calculate the volume okay this one is we talk about the the content okay means that if we have input we execute uh, if this input is execute uh, with this uh, uh, operation inside the second layer this is the output uh, this is the output matrix how about the output volume okay I mean when you said I output volume or output size so so in in this case it should okay what is the output volume of second layer so so it should be five uh, it should be five times five lah, because because we, we already done it here five times five times one okay here is five times five times one okay at here it will be sorry at output after this operation I just put it up uh, below the I just put it below the the sorry I just put it uh, below the second layer okay because that that output is after the second layer so I just put it there let me write uh, here okay so it should be five times five times one so why why again five times five because you set the paddings there so that's why the the x and y size is maintained five times five because you are using padding and then the stride still equal to one three times three then because my number of filter is equal to one so that's why it's time one so if my filter is let's say 10 so it will become it it will become five times five times tens there okay so so it depends on this the, the filter size but in this question the number of filter is equal to one so that's why the the output volume is five times five times one so how about the volume after applying the third layers so if you talk about the third layer then you need to you know uh, investigate that things start from the beginning at the input layers because if because we want to know the size first because uh, if you, we, you 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 cannot just compute here you must compute the volume here first okay at this position because that will become the input of this layer so if the input is wrong then you will get output size wrong here so that's why you need to compute at the beginning at the input so because our input is five times five times one and then after executing the second layers uh, with padding so meaning that five times five is maintained now we want only want to know the depth size because the number of filter equal to one so meaning that that's why this one will become five times five times one so how about here so five times five times one become operation of this input of this third layer. So uh, without because of, because of no padding, so now uh, it will become here is three times three times one. 
So why is 3 times 3? Because without padding, then the, this 5 times 5 input will be very shrink into 3 times 3. And this time 1 because of the number of liter is equal to 1. Okay, I think I hope I also uh, uh, by by having this tutorial, I also answer the the, the question that that have been asked by one of the student because the because uh, he or she confused with the depth size there, the depth how how actually depth is generated from the output. So that is that's how we do. Okay, uh, because uh, in in the in the lectures we do I we we have we have a practical architecture meaning the depth equal to 3 uh, the, the number of filter equal to 10 so but because in this uh, tutorial I, I, I just uh, sh make it simplify so that's why I, I, I put it as one one there of course this one is not practical but it's better it, it, it's a good example for you to understand the fundamentals okay so again then this 3 times 3 will go into this uh, okay again uh, how about the the filter number 4 there filter number 4 you have 3 times 3 okay okay just draw the 3 times 3 matrix there and then you are applying a maximum pulling with a 2 times 2 filter strike equal to 1 no padding so uh, in other words um, let me take a green there okay in other words you have a 2 times 2 filter applying into this input 3 times 3 matrix okay so the execution of maximum operation maximum pulling operation is something like this okay because this the strike is equal to 1 so you have only how many there this is one maximum number this is another maximum number this is another maximum number and this is another maximum number so at the end you only have 2 times 2 matrix at the output size so it will become 2 times 2 so of course this one is is, is a hard is a not systematic way to calculate uh, the volume of course if you want to calculate the more systematically you need to uh, you, you need to check back the formula that we have, we have shown before, the general formula that uh, the number of padding and the size of uh, filter size and so on, the, what is the F and so on. Okay, so uh, uh, that I have discussed that during when I teach about the LXNet architecture. So there's a formula there. This is just uh, if you don't apply the formula, this is uh, one of the way that if you don't, uh, you know, uh, without that for systematic formula or standard formula you still can can estimate by by executing each and every uh, function there you will know the the size or the volume of the 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 feature maps okay okay how about volume at this after after layer number five so again we have two time two time one so here what we have because the input is 2 times 2 times 1 then uh, you are applying a 2 times 2 filter without padding so what will happen 2 times 2 filter convert with 2 times 2 means that this is the input and then you have a convolutional filter at layer number layer number 5 there same size as your input if you apply the convolutional convolution then you only get okay if you apply the convolution then you 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 only get one point there one point because this one convolve with this one you only get one point there one box pixel values there but because the filter size is equal to 10 then the depth there equal to 10 okay one time one time 10 so the the size of your uh, the volume of the volume of your output after executing the layer number five should be one time ten okay so that's how it's work 
Okay, that 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 is the things that okay. I think that uh, that is the things that you need to know and need to understand, uh, and how you need to have a skill in in translating or imagining the matrix, uh, or, or the operations there, the size and so on, and and make sure that you understand to in how to interpret this this format because this is the on this 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 thing is only. Uh, we only apply for these courses. Of course, there's no standard format for represent the architectures. Uh, 